Just, I think you ended up four or 15 on third down tonight and uh, just could never sustain. I think you only had five first downs for the game. Just maybe talk about what wasn't working. I know it was raining, but what was not working for the offense tonight? Yeah, we lost the line of scrimmage and uh, obviously you start loading up the box in those kind of situations and uh, we, uh, we're in, you know the passing game was just uh, was not uh, was not there. I think we maybe had a couple opportunities, but it just was uh, obviously tough tough conditions to throw the ball. Uh, but we you know tried inside outside, and we just you know they they beat us at the line of scrimmage, and we were unable to execute in the throw game. So that's uh, that was a very poor performance. Back left over there, Austin. Urban, can you can you pinpoint anything that might have caused those issues in the passing game? It seemed like early with the weather. I don't know. You guys didn't even want to take many shots. Yeah. Well, it was. Uh, you know, I mean, either either side was tough. They had a couple of fades, I think, on us. But for the most part, it was uh, it was tough sledding to throw the ball. And we tried a little bit, and you know, we had Braxton, I think, come clean on one. And and um, you know, it, it's it hasn't been a smooth run uh, really most of the year. So we have to get some things fixed. Over to the right here, Tim. Yeah, Urban, how limited was uh, Ezekiel Elliott with that with that leg problem, and, and was that a, was that a problem at all for him? No, no, he uh, he was fine. You know, that was earlier in the week, and he practiced Thursday. And you know, he's a warrior. Just so many people at the line of scrimmage, we couldn't it, we couldn't control it. What did you tell your team post game here? I mean, about what? what no, you what got the rivalry. You him? got the rivalry coming up. You got. Uh, you know, uh, it's easy to lead when everything's going well, and you won. You know, a bunch of games in a row. That's not how you judge a team. That's not how you judge character. That's not how you judge a leader. That's how you judge a front runner. That's how you judge a, when things are going well. Uh, you know, you've just been hit right in the gut. And, uh, you know, Zeke actually said a few words down there. And, and uh, I love these guys. And we'll come back and do the best we can next week. Got to get better. Got to get better. Right here, Bill. Did you in any way foresee this kind of performance? And, no. And in terms of the conservative play calling, again, the no. weather was a factor, but are you content with the way the game was called? The play calling, conservative play no, calling? No, I was not content. Back row left there, Clay. Coach Cook doesn't play, and they go with the backups. In, in essence, does it help them to run the option instead of a guy who's trying to Well, they just run Q run, Q run, Q run, Q run. And um, um, you know, obviously, I don't know if they would have done that with Cook. And it was not a throwing type day. You know, it would have been tough to execute the throw game even with Connor Cook. But um, I, I, I mean, I, they did it well. They, they ran that quarterback a lot. Far left over there, Doug. Urban, you said as far as the play calling, you weren't content. What can you do during the game if you're not content with it? Was there more you could have done yourself to try to switch things up? Well, I, I, take, I call a lot of plays anyways. So uh, finger, you point it right here. And um, have to do better. Yeah, we didn't. Uh, very conservative. It seemed like we were backed up a lot, and that, you know, and that, you know, I thought we had a good positioning when we uh, down the ball in a three-yard line in the fourth quarter, and then they knocked it out and put us back there. And then we tried to take a shot, and then your second ten stopped the clock, and and then you try to punt with that driving wind in your face, and it was tough. And they get the ball on the 40-yard line. Obviously, you see, you see how the game ended. So it was kind of that game. I can't stand it. You know, it's, those are tough to watch now and tough to be a part of when you start playing field position like that. You know, I've been a couple situations in my career where you're in a blizzard. You're in, and it wasn't a blizzard, but it was a tough situation. And uh, once again, I felt decent when we pinned them into the three-yard line, play good defense, and stop them. And, and you might get that ball near midfield and go try to win the game. Not being where you want to be in the throw game at this point in the season, the fact that JT wasn't the starter for the first seven games, did that set back his development as a thrower at all this season? It could have. Um, I mean, I'm going to try to sit and evaluate everything, and it and, uh, uh, could be a lot of reasons. Second row left, uh, Kevin. Coach, you guys had a couple offsides penalties, one on the fourth mm. and eight, and uh, then third and long. How, how demoralizing was that to put them in a really, you know, manageable situation to pick up the first yeah, I think down. We had three of them. It was it's a tough situation. You know, fourth and eight is much different than fourth and three. And that's especially that, you know, the situation, the weather, the conditions that we we're playing in. Back row left uh, Bill. Urban, you get to uh, you get to short fields off turnovers and they answer with long drives. How how disheartening was that? Yeah, disheartening and uh, you know especially it was all mostly run oh, I guess they had a fourth and uh, or a third down in 15 and hit a fade on us. That was a big uh, uh, transitional part of the game. 
when you you know you feel like you get them uh, stopped and then they hit a, a ball over the top on us. But it was a uh, uh, I think disheartening is a, a tough word, a correct word when you you feel like you you're 14 to seven or seven nothing you go up and you're up by 14 seven and then they take it the length of the field. And last two questions to the right here, uh, Pete. You, you've obviously seen some funny scenarios happen in college football in the times you've been a head coach, going back to Florida in, uh, in 08, I guess. Uh, just where do you feel like this program is in the big picture in relation to the playoff after today? Oh, boy. I, we got to get a couple first downs and, and try, find a way to complete pass and beat our rival. Uh, I don't um, – no disrespect, but that's certainly not any conversation. It's, you're right, a lot of things happen, but we gotta, we got to fix some, uh, ob some obvious problems. And last question over to the left, Doug. Urban, nobody wins every single game. You just had a 23-game winning streak. Can you, do you have any perspective on this at the moment that this happens to every team at some point? Well, you know, you know, I've been down this road before where you, you do good, and I just I, I, I love a group of guys down there, and, and we, we have to do better. Yeah, I do. About, I do. A lot of different perspective maybe had it several years back. You lost a game. You know, you're pissed off. You go do the best you can, go to work uh, tomorrow. Um, I did challenge the leaders, challenge our coaches that, you know, once again, to, to run out of the tunnel first when you're, what you said, the 23 or 30 or whatever it was, win streak, then that doesn't take a whole lot of courage to do that. It takes a lot of courage to show up uh, Sunday ready to go beat uh, a good team up north.